morning. We dodged a bullet, missed the rain, so fertilized application continues. So this morning we're putting on a straight rate of uh, 450 pounds. It's a potash mess blend. So we should uh, definitely go through the product a little bit more. But uh, we have 280 acre fields side by side, so hopefully we can get those both applied today. Looks like Larry's fueling up. He's who's hauling the fertilizer for us. side note I've ran this floater for you know, quite a bit now I just figured out how to sync my phone to it uh, that's some good news it's getting tired of listening to my headset it's the little things that make you happy it's the little things the variable rate files pulled up we have just a little bit of mez left this morning so we're gonna spread that on this field after that we'll just be straight rating This field last year, it was no tilled into. There was no turbo tilling. You can still see the corn stalk rows in here. Morning. Did I sound like Brian? Off to do some top secret tillage. Brian's spreading fertilizer in the floater. And uh, not sure what Dad's getting into today. The sprayer is parked for the moment. I have a little bit of an electrical issue. I think we got a loose wire or whatnot. Hopefully they get it fixed pretty quickly, but I'm willing to, uh, Try to get as much strip tilling ground done today as possible. It's dried up pretty nice. Still got some wet holes, but you know, that's that's gonna happen just given the area we farm. Yeah, I'm gonna try to start planting some corn tomorrow, I guess. Not me, not me. That'd be dad. That's kind of his baby, I think. Um, be interesting to see whether he's able to turn that over to Brian at any point in time. But yeah, it's gonna be a busy day, gonna be a long day. A pretty long day yesterday, it wasn't bad. I know I was still milling about at the house last night around midnight and saw Brian's truck go by, so I think he had a late night in the floater. Um, better his back than mine. I'm not sure how I got put in the strip till rig. I guess maybe since I already kind of know how to halfway operate a tractor, maybe that's easier to teach than, than learning how to, to spread on dry fur. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. It's kind of therapeutic, kind of relaxing. Milling her up. All right, we got about a ton of product. This field calls for four tons. So we're just going to do what we can get rid of it. Not getting any more loads of just straight mess today, I don't believe. So that'll be it for this field for the day. But this is the third time that I've spread this field. I spread lime on it. I spread potash on it yesterday. And now we're spreading mess on it today. Once again, using my AB from yesterday, just trying to keep traffic to a minimum. The purpose of doing that is so we don't have extra tracks in the field. I definitely messed up and turbo tilled this one because normally we don't apply dry fertilizer to our soybean ground, but this is in Farmer's Edge and they told us we needed to. That's a problem. That's the downfall of not having a tender. All right, got that cleared out. Dad came down, didn't film. We're in a hurry, so sorry about that. Um, but should be back in business now. I know a lot of people ask why we dump fertilizer on the ground instead of having a tender. Well, we just ain't got a tender yet. We tried to buy one this winter, couldn't find one in our price range. So eventually we will have one. But even if we have a tender, we're still gonna stock the fertilizer on the ground. We'd like to build a small bu or a building to store it in and then tend out of it with the tender to the floater. That would, that would be our you know, eventual goal. All right, we're out of product, so back to the pile. Uh, we're going down by the river in some big fields. Dad's actually got the tarragator out and going. That's the first time it's been out this year. He's, uh, I think he got done burned down, so he's gonna get the other floater out and hopefully we can get some stuff happening. We're supposed to get some high winds here in a little bit, so we're trying to get uh, as much as we can done, as quick as we can. And BJ, he's back to the life of a stripper, so hopefully he can get some stuff done today. Cause I think tomorrow, I think we're gonna plant some corn. Plan A, you know how this goes. <laughs> There's Mr. George. Good God, it's lunchtime. I hope he doesn't think I'm gonna feed him just because we're passing on the road. He just got him a new pride and joy. I think George has more lawnmowers than most TSCs or Lowe's. I believe Big Mama's on her way. Ooh, we 
got some grass there. I'm going to stop and get that before we have a, a repeat. But Big Mom is on her way. She's bringing me some lunch and some more coffee. I'm pretty sure my little man is going to hop in and ride for a while. Me a wagon. Bye, Big Mama. Yeah, all right, got the little man riding with me. We got a refill on our coffee. Got us a sandwich. Good to go. Got you a happy meal there, Bubba. Mm -hmm. Look at you just making yourself at home. Got new shoes on. Eating your happy meal, bouncing through the field. Having a good old time, huh? Hey, you don't need help eating that, do you? No. Lots of stuff happening in the bottoms. Got a neighbor cultivating, BJ strip tilling over there. We're spreading. Now this is the last bin load I'm gonna spread. Uh, the wind gusts are getting pretty pretty decent now. Um, after I get this spread off, I'll be able to get all the stuff off the ground in case it would happen to rain. But anyways, after that, I think I'm gonna help dad get his corn planter out. Um, so we get that all situated. BJ's gonna get the bean planter out, fill it up. I think I'm gonna start strip tilling. Now we are eventually going to switch out with my brother on the strip tail rig, but first, while this ripper is hooked to the old 8400, I've got one water hole I think I can help out with this ripper. Just a, one small wet spot and we'll get to hit it real fast. And uh, then we got our RTK chip finally. So I'm going to you know, get the RTK going in the stripper tractor. ground we're working right here there's actually six inch tile under it but uh, I'm just kind of trying to keep this ground loose let that get down to let the water get down to it um, before we put this tile this would have all been covered in water right now once this got wet it usually stayed wet so the tile's doing its job but the ground's a little hard so getting her with the ripper real quick and then uh, we're going to have to turbo it anyways so uh, not going to hurt anything a little rough Little, little hard pan, but hey, we're busting her. Working up real nice. You can see the wave, but the old 8400 needs a little bit more ponies. There's dad over there in the distance, the oxbow. So whatever, uh, whatever wiring issue he was having must have been a pretty easy fix. I think he said that they had it done about a couple hours ago, but the wind was blowing a little bit, so he must have been waiting for it to cool. Uh, the wind to kind of die out a little bit before we got going. Yeah, if you're wondering, he is in the same field as me. Um, I'm strip tailing down by the river that has already been, uh, burned down has already been applied, uh, dry fertilizer has already been applied. I think that spot where he is running, there is uh, it's a wet spot. That's, I was ripping around that the other day, so he's over there uh, trying to get the last bit of burn down sprayed on this. And uh, I don't know, he might actually try to plant this field tomorrow. I don't know, there's, I'm not sure how they do the corn. You know, I think they go to the driest ground first. I'm not sure where this stands, so. Well, I guess BJ needs some 28, so we're gonna take him some 28 for the strip till bar. Um, maybe eventually I'll get in there, but maybe we'll just keep ripping. This is kind of fun. Man, it is windy. It's so dang windy now. I'm gonna walk in here to the shed to take a leak. Might have to go change pants if I do it outside. Yep, definitely perfect spreading weather. Weather, 25 mile an hour gusts, good stuff. Huh. There's our receiver. So our RTK chip goes in here somewhere. Huh. All right, um, after a lot of assistance with an Agco rep and our guy from Ohio Ag, we determined that we need a software update in the Challenger for the RTK to work. But Hey, they uh, helped me the best they could, so hopefully we'll get that taken care of in the morning. 
we were on, uh, we're on a subscription satellite, so it's not too terribly inaccurate. BJ's gonna get back to going, but stop down here and look at the strips. This is what we're thought up. This ground's in good shape. Nice, uh, not too dry, not too wet. Making a real nice seed bed. Hopefully we can get this planted here fairly soon, like in the next two weeks. BJ's gonna keep running the strip till Barb. I actually went up to get the ripper. Dad had already put it up for the night. So they put the sprayers in front of it. So uh, I'm going to go grab me a bite to eat for dinner. It's almost eight o'clock and then I'm gonna switch out with BJ. I think he's gonna go home and eat and I'll finish that field up. Really, I just, I, I wanna run the strip till Barb. I, I, I enjoy doing that. So. All right, dinner time's over. Back to work. Sure is a pretty sky tonight. Still pretty windy. Check out how much softer the ground is where he's ran that strip tiller. Oh, it's gonna be nice. Yeah, I'm really looking forward in, to planning into this and seeing just how much better or worse or, I don't know, just seeing what it does. Seeing if it's any better. I hope it's better. That's the whole point of it. Third shift stripper reporting in. Hope the tips are better. <laughs> we just put new tips on it. At least we got a good view for stripping. Feels good to be back in a smooth riding machine. Back and forth. Back and forth. We're getting it, but we're slow. Guys, I got some really bad news this morning. A longtime family friend, Dan Fox, he passed away this morning from a heart attack. Dan was 58 years old. Um, I've known him my whole life. He's been our seed rep my whole life. He was a co-founder of Sea Consultants which is the company that we buy a lot of seed from. Um, in fact, two years ago, Dan was riding in this field with Dad in the combine doing, doing the test plot that the Sea Consultants Variety, I believe, won. So um, I'm going to really miss having Dan around. He was, he was a great guy. If you ever met him, you could, you could pick out his laughter a mile away. He was, he was just a really fun dude. So it was, uh, I don't know, it kind of sucked the wind out of everybody's sails this morning when we got that news. So I know Dad's taking it kind of hard. Like I said, he was a good family friend. dogs aren't cooperating but that's it for this video guys um got some pretty cool stuff coming tomorrow it's green and it rhymes with dent